Hey, what's up guys? It's Anuj from AndroidRoots.com. We're taking a look at Elixir ROM for the Nexus 5. And let's go ahead and dive into settings. All the way down to About Phone. And you can see we're running on Android 4.4.2. And you have a nice new custom kernel called Elemental X. So this is a pretty popular kernel up there with Franco kernel. Um, and with this kernel, you'll get better battery life and of course better performance with this ROM. So that's a nice touch to it. Um, and since we are running on parent Android, this phone is going to have some new features, including Pi Control. You do get that. And also, you get uh, under display, you get the new notification peak. Um, so if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically the same as the Moto X Active Display. So it works really well, if not better, for your Nexus 5. Um, I'll demo that at the end of the video if you guys want to see that demo. Works pretty darn well. I've been using it for a little bit and it works really well. Only It works 99% of the time, usually. Um, so that's really good right there. And also, the whole UI is themed up with that KitKat look. Um, so I know in a couple of places, Google went ahead and missed some places and left that blue look. Um, so like things like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I believe, were changed up to be white now. If you turn it on, um, it's going to be white now or grayed out at least. Um, so you can only see uh, black and white, basically, or gray and white, except for, <laughs> except for this Google thing. I don't really think you can change. It's not a big deal anyway. So a lot of it has been changed up for your Google KitKat theme, uh, which is nice. Also, I've got to mention and show you is within settings, you have that custom fonts right there. Um, so it's a new font. It's not too crazy, not too, it's not going to bother your eyes if you read a lot on the web and all that. Um, so you'll be fine on that. And also you have custom navigation bars. So for back is back, of course. Circle is home and square is recents right there. Um, so I really like that. And also you have cus, cus, a couple of new applications, including Viper for Android. So that's your audio application manager, headphones, speakers, improve the audio sound quality while you're playing your you know, Google Play Music. Um, you have light bulb for your torch light effect from your flash right there. Um, and you have two other applications, which I like. Um, so you have the CyanogenMod documents. So you have all these so recent images, videos, audio documents right there. And also my favorite application that is included within this ROM is the Motorola Gallery. Um, so this is a very, very, very clean gallery application. Um, so if I go and scroll down, as you can see, it goes by month, November, December, January, February, March, etc. Uh, right there. And it's super clean, very easy to use. And it's, uh, it's <laughs> I really like this one compared to your usual Google one. And also you have timeline and albums right there included. Um, so that is pretty much it, I think. Yeah, that is that is it for this Elixir ROM. Let's go ahead and demo that uh, uh, Panera Android notification peak feature. And we'll go and wrap it up. So before you actually go and demo that, I want to go and show you Pi Control and also you get immersive mode. So right here within your little uh, tile notification place, um, you can go ahead and turn this on and you'll get full. Um, your navigation bars and your status bar will disappear. And now you also have Pi Control, so back, home, and square, which are also customized for that uh, custom navigation bar look. Um, so that's really nice too. And of course, you have your time and all the other stuff too right there. So, you know, uh, T-Mobile is my uh, carrier right there, date, percent of... Uh, you know, bad remaining, all that, etc. right there. Um, so I like that, and it keeps it very, very clean. As you can see, it makes your phone much bigger, especially since you have a lot of software keys and status bar taking up uh, screen real estate. Um, I like that feature. Um, so that is that's how you enable Pi Control and full screen immersive mode too. Uh, but now let's go ahead and take a look at that peak feature. Um, so let me go ahead and go back into settings, display, and make sure this, this is turned on to make sure it works with you. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, turn off my device, just put it to sleep, and lay down on the you know table and I'm gonna go ahead and send myself a Google Hangout message and then you'll see an, uh, um, an LED notification light at the bottom right here so watch out for that I'll say hey send it to myself um, as you can see it blinked now if I go and pick it up it'll give me this new way to actually access those notifications so I go and pick it up and boom look at that you get the time right at the top and also you have two options for my voicemail which is also a notification and also my Google Hangout Google Hangouts, which is also a notification. Um, and of course, Gmail, um, you know, Twitter, other things would also show up. And you have 10 seconds to, you know, uh, select it. If not, it'll just go back to lock screen. So um, there's my notification right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and try this one more time, and I'll show you how to launch the application, which is super easy to do. Uh, so I'll say, hey again. You'll see the LED light at the bottom. Now, if you go ahead and pick it up, 
it'll go ahead and show you and I'm going to ahead and tap on the icon and it'll go ahead and launch the Google Hangouts application. Um, so it works really well, it works every, just, just about every single time and it'll, this also works if it's in your pocket, it, know, it knows it's in your pocket uh, using the sensor at the top, it knows the light, lighting effect and all that so it works really well. Um, but that is it guys, that is Elixir ROM for the Nexus 5, I'll leave a link down below if you want to go ahead and pick this up for yourself uh, in the video description and if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there really do appreciate all that support and don't don't forget to follow me on twitter facebook and google plus which is also located down below in the video description see you guys peace